gnome for the holidays. That's what I'm calling this one. Maybe it should be gnomes for the holidays. I couldn't decide if that was Santa Claus or not. I didn't intend for it to look like Santa Claus, but hey, put a red hat on a man with a white beard. Probably gonna look like Santa Claus. But anyway, the idea was to paint some gnomes and I didn't want to do the type with the hat over the eyes. I just thought I'd make some faces and have some fun. So maybe they're gnomes or maybe they're elves or maybe they're Santa's relatives. <laughs> or maybe none of the above. Yesterday I was in the bookstore and Robin and I were looking for children's books for the children in our families. And um, there were so many beautiful children's books and the artwork in those children's books is just everything from the amazingly detailed paintings like in the Polar Express to some of the most simple paintings like Dada, the Jimmy Fallon book. Um, but you know, they're all there to entertain the kids and some of them are wild and some of them are, I don't know, just it's just everything under the sun. And so if you're an artist, this there's a place for you. Let's just hope AI doesn't take our jobs away. But for now, I want to show you how I painted gnomes for the holidays. Just another card. Another card of many cards that I've done this year. All right, let me show you how I did this one right now. Okay, well, I had a request to demonstrate how I would paint gnomes and Christmas gnomes in particular. So let's do a male and a female and let's do them. Oh boy, see there's two ways to do them with or without faces. It's, you know, usually it's just the nose, but I think I'm going to give them faces. So let me, let me make them, let me kind of think. I'm, I'm starting with an orange colored pencil only because I don't want to use graphite. I'm afraid it'll ugly it up. I've had some ugly results with graphite pencils. And so, well, especially when there's faces involved. So, all right, let's just, let's just have some fun here. I'm going to make gnomes with faces, with eyes. Like I say, a lot of times when you do a, a gnome, you don't have faces. You just have that, like the hat covering covering them up so so let's have this gnome he's looking at us we'll have him looking at us and he'll have a, a happy mustache he's kind of like santa claus in a way just give him a little happy a happy mustache a little happy mouth under there and some big happy eyebrows Big happy eyebrows on this gnome here. Yeah, it's very much like like painting a picture of Santa Claus. Yep. And a nice big cheek there. And over here we'll have the beard coming around, of course. And we'll go ahead and give him a big long beard. It's very much like Santa Claus. But he's not. He's a gnome. Maybe Santa Claus is a gnome. Maybe a gnome and an elf are kind of the same thing. Maybe they're related. Maybe one is from gnome man's land. Ah, I get it, gnome man's land. All right, well, being silly this morning. All right, there's kind of a face. Excuse me, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh my gosh, okay. Right, let's go ahead and give him a fuzzy hat. It goes right over his eyebrows. Right over his eyebrows, down the side of his head. And it goes there behind his ear. Yep, he's got big ears and they stick out. And we're gonna give him a pointy hat because gnomes are known for pointy hats. But I think because I started too close to the top, 
I'm going to have this one tilting down. Kind of like Santa Claus's hat does. Okay, but I'm not going to put that little fuzzy ball on it. I think I'll just keep it pointy. There we go. There's our gnome. And let's give him some, like a warm winter clothing. And maybe he's got a, a jacket here to stay warm. So he's not Santa Claus. I have to keep telling myself he's not Santa Claus. <laughs> Give him a big old belt buckle here. Just something to hold up his pants. Have to have something to hold up his pants. Here we go. Now there's his arm over there. And over here I'm going to kind of hide his arm because I want to leave room for the for the female gnome. Maybe that's Mrs. Gnome. And so Mrs. Gnome has, of course, no beard. She's got kind of a cute little nose. Let's just start with that cute little nose. And give her a nice happy eye. Looking over at us. She's looking at us because she sees us looking at her. At her. She's happy to see us. <coughs> Excuse my coughing and sneezing. What's going on? Here we go. Here we give her a cute little smile. Let's make her smile here. How's that look? Alright? Does that look alright? She's got a little bit less. She doesn't have quite the same bushy eyebrows as her husband. She's got a cuter, a cuter face. And that's, there's her upper lip. Just a little bit of a lip. And there's her bottom lip. There's the cute Mrs. Gnome. A little chin there. The side of her face. And I think she's got long hair that comes out from under her hat. So let's get that hair in there first. And we'll go ahead and put her hat. Her she got a big fuzzy hat. <coughs> yeah, she's got a lot of fur on her hat. I think she might have pointy ears. What do you think? Maybe her ears are a little pointy. Maybe she's... Maybe the male doesn't have the pointy ears. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the anatomy of, el of elves or gnomes. But, oh well. If you're going to use this picture <laughs> as a reference for your picture, then she's going to have pointy ears. Okay. I did the same mistake with hers as I did with his. See, too close to the top. So I'll just go ahead and create that. That pointy hat. And kind of bend it down the back here. And I'll just keep it pointy without the little fluffy ball on the end. And let's go ahead and give her maybe braids or something. Yeah, braids. It's an idea. And give her a nice, nice warm coat also. Let me put the other braid over here. She's got her coat. Nice and warm coat. Draped across her shoulders there. And maybe 
maybe she's got her arm. Maybe she's got her arm. Maybe that's her dad. Maybe that's not husband and wife. Maybe that's father and daughter. Let's see. I figure out how to make her. She should have a, a belt also. Let's give her a belt buckle. And her coat is open a little bit, just for style. Make it a very stylized coat. Maybe she's got mittens on and we can see her hand a little bit. There we go. There we go, our two elves, our two gnomes. And they're going to be in the stove, of course, so let's give them a little bit of a background there that we'll worry about that later. <coughs> Alright, let's put some color on their faces. So now we have the drawing in there, and I'll set the pencil aside. I'll go ahead and use a little bit of orange and red to uh, begin the process of getting their skin tones the way I want them. I'm mixing red and orange together here. Just a little hint of it. Okay, we can always come back. Yeah, we're gonna come back to this. Just kinda, kinda brush it in there. There's not much skin showing on them, but gotta put some, some kind of color there. And hers would be maybe a little bit more on the red side. Let's get it very watered down. Here we go. Get it very watered down. That's pretty much all you see there and we will give him a little bit of, I can do this right now while it's still wet let the the red from her face be the the color in his face a little bit in his ears all right there we go now we'll come back to that right now let's get the hats and stuff so eh, give him a red hat why not? Why not a red hat? Why not? Why not, Mr. Gnome? This gnome, wait, gnome, gnome for the holidays. Hey, oh, there's no one like gnome. Never mind, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sing that song. <laughs> I started to, I started to sing it. But you know me better than that. No, you don't. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you say, yeah, I've heard you sing before, Larry. I've heard you do that before, Papa. <laughs> what do you think? It's already December 3rd. Time flies. In a month, it'll be the new year. Wow. Less than a month, actually. Oh, I don't know. Everybody makes resolutions. I always, I always say I'm going to lose weight. Always. Every single year I say I'm going to lose weight. Every single year. Every single year. Okay. Enough about that. Don't give me advice, please. I don't, I know you mean well, but I know what to do. I just don't do it. Maybe this year I'll do it. All right, now what I want to do is I want to take some of this light blue. And let's see, I want the light coming from, I don't know where it's coming from. I didn't really establish that, did I? Maybe it's coming from that direction, from the upper right. So I'll go ahead and put some light blue. Make sure well, everything is dry. Put some light blue on his, on his hat, first of all.
is to create the shadow. The shadow on his hat. Same thing with her. With the shadow on the hat on that side. The light's coming from above and on the right. Over there left. Yeah. Same thing with his beard. His beard has to have all that that blue on there to create the effect of shadows on his beard. A little shadow there. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm making all these noises this morning. Just, uh, just noisy. I'm a noisy guy. <coughs> Gosh, clear my throat, coughing, sneezing. I feel like a, a commercial for some kind of cold medicine or something. Maybe I can get a sponsor. A sponsor, I'll, I'll be the guy who says, this is what I take when I get a cold. Wait a minute, I have I have a, a cold remedy. Everybody has a cold remedy they share, right? So can I share with you my perfect remedy for a cold? Are you ready? Here it comes. You maybe you've heard this before. But if you haven't, here it comes. Alright, the perfect remedy for a cold is this. You put twelve little stones in your pocket. Okay? Don't laugh. This is how you cure a cold. Twelve little stones in your pocket. And then what you do. I'm using purple now, by the way, to create some shadows on their hands. So you put 12 little stones in your pocket, and then you take one stone out every day. And when all the stones are gone, your cold will also be gone. It usually works. If it doesn't work, repeat the thing. Put another 12. Go for another 12 days. <laughs> Yeah, then your cold will be gone. Isn't that a funny idea? I wonder how many people actually do that. Yep. Yeah. Put some shadows on their hats. The 12 stone cure for the common cold. Have you ever heard that one before? I didn't make it up. I heard that from somebody else. But it's a funny one. So what do you do? What do you do? What other common cures do you know? Do you have a common cure for something? All right, now let's, let's put some, uh, like I say, I don't want him to be Santa Claus. Huh? Maybe he's got a brown coat. I'm gonna keep the sunlight coming across the top. Put a little brown right there. Just want to make sure that beard is not wet. Do you have a common or uh, a cure for hiccups? You have a cure for hiccups? I don't know. I don't really have a funny one for that. But I did try the, the scaring technique once with Robin and it really did work. I really did frighten her with some kind of boo or something. Yeah, I did. And it, it did stop the hiccups. But it but it's but it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice to scare somebody. Yeah. Papa wasn't nice that day. That wasn't a good good thing to do. 
But it worked. She did laugh about it, though. But I felt bad. I felt bad because I scared her. Don't worry, she's tricked me too a few times. We trick each other. <laughs> Alright, now that's still wet, so I can't do much with that. Let me try to do something with her. Give her a nice green shirt or something she's wearing underneath. Just make it very, very light green. Just very light. Not light green, but I mean, um, what's the word? I, I didn't mean the word light. I meant the word, um, less saturated, whatever that word is. The word that means less saturated. I think I'll give her a red coat. Sort of red, I guess. But again, I have to keep the light on it like that. I got up late this morning, later than usual. It's already 7.30. I was supposed to go to the doctor yesterday, but I couldn't because I had to go to the airport yesterday. So now I have to call the doctor's office this morning and tell them to figure out a way for me to come in. It's just a checkup. It's not because I'm sneezing, by the way. Not for that. So how are you guys doing anyway? I don't really like I don't really like to talk about ills and ailments. It's kinda kinda not my thing. But you know, it comes up, especially when you sneeze, it's hard to not bring it up. <laughs> Alright, I guess I can paint over that because I'm gonna give her black hair. Give her a little brown belt right there. And him too. He gets a brown belt also. Here we go. We're just kind of piecing it in, as you can tell. I'll worry about the shading on some of these later on. Um, let's see what I do here. I'm trying to figure out who's who's in the foreground here. She or he? I think it's she. I think she's in the foreground. Her coat comes down here. There we go. I guess that'll work. And then what I'll worry about is her, her min. I want to keep that area white like it's, um, like the hat, like the fur on the hat, so I'll I'll go ahead and add some little shadow right there for that. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's get some blue now on his um, shoulder here.
everything can be darkened and sometimes it can be lightened but usually it's easier to darken watercolor than to lighten it but it's not impossible to lighten it all right um I'm gonna add a little bit more darkness to the shadows on their hats Here we go, a little bit more darkness around here. A little bit more blue. In the bottom of his mustache, a little bit. A little bit on his beard here. And her hat. It's coming around. Alright, now for the, the coat over here. Let's get a little bit more brown here. Same with it here. Darken it up. Just make sure everything's dry so I don't... That's a real key thing is to make sure it's dry before you start putting color on color. Santa Claus an elf? Is Santa Claus a gnome? Gnome for the holidays. I use my joke again. Oh, there's no gnome like a gnome. There's no elf. There's no elf like a gnome for the holidays. Mm hmm. Here we go. Now with her. Get a little deeper red, some of these areas here. Over here, we can make it really nice and dark right back there. her mitten. Let's get some of that hair in here. hair sticking out from underneath the hat. There we go. 
notice her braids. <laughs> and let's get his, uh, let's see, we'll make these belt buckles a little bit on the yellow ochre side, I guess. Kind of have the same look as each other. I think. Let's see if I can get some shady color. A little bit more red. Kind of mix them together. Maybe if I put a little brown in there it wouldn't hurt. Maybe. A little darker. Shade, make it very watered down. Right there under her neck. In her ear. Inside of her nose. Bottom of her nose. Here, I could do the same thing with him. A little bit of shade on the nose and part of the eye here. Inside his ear, there's a little shade right there. Gotta be real careful with shading on faces. All right, let's get some of this blue on his jacket, a little bit darker on the inside. Very dark. 
Just kind of keep adding shadows and kind of take, pay attention to the light a little bit. Okay, now let's try to get the, the details around their faces very thin, fine brush. Okay, let's get down. Let's see if we can get her eyes first. A little bit of red here, a little bit of a lip. There we go. A little bit of a bottom part. Now we gotta put Santa's face on or sorry, he's not Santa, is he? He's uh, he's just a gnome. A gnome. Give him a little bit of a gnome face. I don't even know what a gnome face is. I guess it's this. I guess it's this gnome face. There we go. He kind of looks like Santa. Maybe he is Santa. What do you think? Maybe I, I accidentally painted Santa Claus. Didn't mean to. bit there. A bit of a 
smile there. A little bit more definition to the ears on both of them. So sure about it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. All right now, I don't really know what to do. So what I think I'll do is the background, and then we'll worry about them, like touching them up a little bit. So let's use some dark blue or something. Let's get some blue in the background. Let's just go ahead and make it dark, and the snow will be light. Just kind of mixing it up here. I don't want it to be completely black, I just want it to be like a bluish black. There. That comes around here. That's where the snow line is, right there. And we're gonna put snow in here too, so so don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna put some snow in here. Okay, make it lighter over here maybe. better with their eyes so I will try to do something with their eyes for now let's get that background in there right there, the snow line. I think I need more color on their faces. That'll help out a little bit with the way their eyes look. I can add a little bit more color to their faces. Just use some of these colors that's already on the palette.
with her too. A little more, a little more depth to those eyes. There we go. A little bit more blue maybe to his beard.
All right, let's make them a little bit darker right here. Right now, you know what we need to do? We need to put snow on here. So I think that's the next step. And I might be not as happy with this as I wanted to be, but we'll see. So let's get some white snow. Just put it all over the place. Just make it snowy, snowy, snowy. On a very snowy gnome. Known for the holidays. Hopefully you had fun with this one. You know what? We can make some snow on the tips of their hats. Maybe it's falling on onto their hats. Yeah. Maybe they've got a little bit of snow clinging to the clinging to their clothing even. That covers up that orange pen, pencil, right? Hey, sure, why not? Why not use it for that reason? Why not? My grandmother used to say that. Why not? That's a great that's a great two word thing. Why not? Let's go play in the snow. Why not? Let's go visit Uncle Charlie. Why not? A little glimmer in his eye. She's got a nice glimmer in her eye. Alright, so snow is falling all around them because after all, it's a winter card and it's a Christmas card. Maybe they sent his helpers. Maybe that's what I'll call it, Santa's helpers. What do you think? Should I put a little bit of white in her eye? That looks nice, I guess. A little bit of white on his nose. The white, by the way, is gouache. It's not watercolor. Although it is water-based. You know? I know you know all that stuff. I know that 99% of you watching these videos are artists. I know many of you have your own amazing skills. I'm not really trying to demonstrate much, I'm just painting. That's why it's called Papa Paints. It's not called Papa Teaches Painting. Because guess what? I learned as much from you as from anybody else in my life. I've watched a lot of artists paint, and you want to know something? That's probably the best way to learn, is just by watching. So maybe, in a way, I don't know about this picture, because <laughs> this, is, this is kind of a funny one, but I think if you watch me sometimes, I might have something that you can draw from, use. I don't really know. This one, this is a little different. This is me just experimenting. and I wasn't sure what to do here. Somebody had asked me if I could paint some gnomes. I, I'm guessing this is probably not what they had in mind. They probably had the, the ones with the hat that go over the eyes, you know? 
Those are fun to draw too. You know, I did a lot of those with uh, Robin and I did a, a series of um, pieces of artwork for the hol uh, for anything really um, called. Uh, gosh, I can't remember what we called it, but I did it digitally, and I did a lot of gnomes. I did cheesehead gnomes for the Wisconsin, uh, the, what's it called, the uh, Green Bay Packers. And I don't mean to say I did it for them, by the way. I, d I did it representing them. It was for some project we were doing. Yeah, yeah you can't really be using somebody else's trademark. But the, the cheese head, for some reason, was not really trademarked, I guess. I don't know. That was a few years ago. Maybe they've changed everything by now. But Robin is from Wisconsin, and so her cousins and everybody, they just love... They're from the Milwaukee area, so they just love the Green Bay Packers and all that Wisconsin stuff. Well, I think I'm done. I don't know if I, I'm 100% happy with this one. But it was fun. Did you have fun watching? I hope you did. I'm going to call it done after I put a few more snowflakes on here. Just little dry, little flakes of snow falling all around them. And then I will take the brush and smear the background the back of the card. It's a mess right now, isn't it? It's always a mess. That's my middle name, Papa Mess. Larry, Papa Les, Papa, whatever. <laughs> well, I had fun, I don't know. Hey, you wanna know something? This will be a part for somebody. I don't know who, I'm done with the whole project for the church, by the way. I, I did 200 cards and they had their auction and they raised $3,000. Not all for me, there was other artists also. But the cards went pretty good, you know, so just have fun. I'm just having fun. Papa just want to have fun. Papa just want to have fun. fun. All right, let me uh, dry that. I'll be right back. All right. It's dry now. Let me fold it and make it a card. Turn it into a card from a piece of paper. It magically becomes a card. And there... <laughs> I don't know if they're gnomes. I don't know what they are. But they are them. Okay. Well, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed watching. And it's just another Christmas card. And I'll just call it Gnome for the Holidays. Hmm. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.